three games to go and six points needed to guarantee automatic promotion. Can we do it? Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Addict to Victory here. Last time we left off with that disappointing 2-1 defeat to Sunderland. But since then things going a lot better. A 2-1 win over Agnes Stanley, Harvey Vell and Carlos Tevez with the goal. A 0-0 draw with Burton. But then a 1-0 win against Doncaster. Another for Harvey Vale. Three shoe defeat to Lincoln. Disappointment. But I want to say now a goal from Patrick Calderwood on his debut. Charles official youngest player and youngest goal scorer. A new gen from Scotland, 16 years of age. A right winger you may notice. We have been playing the 4-3-3 quite a lot in the last few games. It's been working quite well. We're playing the 5 at the moment, but still, he played quite a few games. He played well. Patrick Caldwood came off the bench for his debut and scored on his debut. A good player here, one for the future. Scottish, 16 years of age. A beautiful little afro on the kids. Uh, hopefully big things for him going forward, but... Back to how things have gone. We had a 4-1 win over Rotherham. I'll just go into this game here to give you a closer look. Yep, the 4-1 win. Carlos Tevez scored a penalty 5 assist, and then he got two assists as well. One for Stockley, who got two goals, and one for Samayu. Suare got a red card, but still, in with the 10 men. We managed to get another after. We were 3-0 free, free up at the 10 men. It ended 4-1. Carlos Tevez, what a performance from him with that goal and two assists. I was really happy to see that from him. And then there's 3-0 win over Morecambe. Jaden Stockley with a hat-trick. Harvey Vell got a red card as well. So we did have two red cards in a row, both times from our left wing back. God knows what's the problem with our left wing backs. But still, we managed to win both of those games by three goals. And that, as I said in the intro, leaves us in pole position for automatic promotion. Four points clear of Oxford with three games to play. We just need two wins to guarantee automatic promotion. Three points off Portsmouth. We could win the title as well here. Looking at our schedule, we're playing Cambridge first of all here today who are 23rd in the league, so we should be able to win that. We're following that up against Shrewsbury Town, who are currently 19th in the division. So hopefully, you know, two lowly ranked teams, hopefully pick up wins against those two to guarantee promotion, because I do not want to leave it to the final day against 5th place Ipswich. Ipswich fighting for the playoffs potentially on that final day. You don't want to be dealing with them having to win to get automatic promotion. Uh, so hopefully... We can get the wins against Cambridge and Shrewsbury and wrap it up before then. This is the team that is going to be playing today in the first game against Cambridge here. 5-4-1 uh, as usual. Playing well. Tevez having a nice little bit of form. Playing in that cam role. Advanced playmaker. A good team here. McEachran back from injury. Shout out to Calvin Bassey. What a season he's had for us. 18 appearances, 3 goals, 1 assist, 7.47 average rating from the defender. He is so good. I feel like I'm going to have to loan him back next year. Because he has been phenomenal. But that is the team. Hopefully, get a good performance here against Cambridge. Pick up the 3 points. And move one step closer to automatic promotion. Cambridge, first chance of the game here. Lancaster whips the ball into the box. Headed away by Bassey. And as far as May to Williams... Who smashes it in. We are behind here. After five minutes. Disappointing. Off the bar. Oh, got to push forward here. Try and get the three points. It's so early here. But I do already feel like tactical changes are needed. Oh, I don't know what to do though. Carlos Tevez with the red card here. Shelton down to 10 men. Things going from bad to worse. Oh, let's just push Gilby forward. Play him as a box to box. And then change Jaden Stockley to a Mazala. I'm going to make the wing backs onto attack see if that does anything different half time here disappointing from Charlton 1-0 down 10 men on the pitch Stockley 
having a decent game, but very tired. Going to bring on Brian Fiabema uh, as a pressing forward attack. And then, I, I don't even know, Maketkrenov for uh, for Dehanda, I guess. Sam Lavello for Deji. I, <laughs> this is just, it's not working. Tactically, probably should have gone with the four. I, I'll admit that. Fiabema picking the ball up. Can he get it forward? Fiabema taking the ball out to that right-hand side. What is the move from Fiabema here? He plays it back to Matthews. He gets it to Gilby, whose shot is blocked. Forster Cassie picking up, though. Again, a Bassi. Bassi taking it forward. Through to Suare. Suare back to Bassi. Smashes the cross in. Finds Matthews. Shot blocked and the bounces in Yanderhander. Tucks it home. Cambridge won. Cholton won. We've got the equaliser here. Great work from Cholton there. Uh, and at this point, I remember Stockley's not on the pitch anymore, so we probably shouldn't be floating crosses. So Johan workable in the botch, mixed the crosses up a bit, but still, we've got the goal. Yander Handler with the finish, and we've leveled things up here. Williams with the throw for Cambridge to Warman, back to Williams to Enditty, Enditty to May to Williams to Lancaster on the right side, back to Williams. Williams taking it forward to May to Enditty to Williams. Williams. <laughs> Back to May to Warman. Lancaster. Back to Williams, maybe? No, they get it to Parker. They're switching sides a little bit there. Spicing it up a little. Iridale. Matthews intercepting well, though. Matthews to Dahanda. Back to Matthews. To Fiabema. To Dahanda. Has a shot over the bar. But Chol 10 man shot and still the dangerous looking team here. Stat wise, 19 shots there. Nine all over them. And I just want to pull your attention to the league table as well, because at the moment, we're going five points clear. At the thing stands, Oxford and Sheffield Wednesday both messing things up here more than us somehow with our 10 men, which is impressive to me. Warman, free kick. Into the box, McGilvery catching it well. And immediately out to Fiabema. Oh, he's on the run. Can he get there? He does. What's he going to do, though? Cholton piling forward. Suare, ball in. Forced the Kasky. Can't get there, but Bassi does. Fiabema on the ball in the box to Suare to force the Kasky. Shot block. Shot saved. By Mitov Cholton looking for that winner, looking to guarantee promotion today. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, but what a performance. Went down to 10 men, maybe against instinct, went more attacking. And I mean, shot wise, dominated them, more shots on target, better XG. Really good performance here from 10 man Cholton. Only a point against relegated Cambridge is disappointing. But still, Oxford and Sheffield Wednesday messing things up in their game. Staying five points clear, knowing that a win against 19th place Shrewsbury guarantees us automatic promotion because this game is not done yet. Forced the Kasky free kick into the wall, forced the Kasky to the hander to Bassi, and it's all over now. Full time at Cambridge, a one all draw. As for the third game in the row, we get a red card. I think I think I need to tell them to not get stuck in as much because clearly they're getting very, very aggressive. Lads, unlucky today. You know, these things happen. Won't focus on that result too much. We've got to just keep our heads up, move right on to the next game in our quest for automatic promotion. But as you can see, looking at these results here, Oxford beat 4-1 by MK Dons. MK Dons chasing the playoffs. Smash Oxford for us. Thank you very much, Milton Keynes. While Sheffield Wednesday lost 2-1 to Crew. It gets even better. They 1-0 up, got a red card. Crew scored twice. Beautiful. As we go five points clear of them, we actually extend our lead somehow after a draw against relegated Cambridge. Oh, wow. Meaning, next game against Shrewsbury, we just have to win. If we win, we are promoted. And what, Portsmouth lost as well. Portsmouth lost to Morecambe. So, I mean, somehow a one-all draw of relegated Cambridge, the best result at the top of the table today. God knows how that happened. I'm not complaining. Beat Shrewsbury and we're promoted. Let's get right into that game here. And for the game against Shrewsbury here, we're just going to go it. We know a win gives us all back promotion. So let's go for it. Let's go for the win. No five at the back. We're going for the four, three, three here. Vale and Kirk on the wings. Looking to get the balls into Stockley up top. Just going for it. Because why not? I, I'm going to start Jan de Hander. He got the goal last game, the equaliser. So give him a start in that Mazzola role. Yeah. And yeah, hopefully this team get the win against Shrewsbury, get us automatic promotion, secured and wrapped up, and then maybe even on the final day pushing for the title. Free kick for Charlton, Forster Kasky whips it in. 
And Dylan Samay is there at the far post to nod it in. A 90 seconds gone here. Chol on one, Shrewsbury nil. And promotion so, so close for Joel, And we can taste it. Corner for Shrewsbury. Whipped into the box. Headed away. Charlie Kirk picking it up. Control and counter here. Charlie Kirk surging forward. Look at him go down that left-hand side. Bundles of pace. Gets it out to Harvey Vale. Harvey Vale now. Whips it in. Stockley. Header off the bar. Charlton so close to a second here. Only three minutes in. We really are going for it here. Bassey through ball. Harvey Vale on it. Back to Bassey. Back to Gilby now. Gilby out to Matthews on the right. Has a go. Saved by Morossi. But Charlton... We're on attack. We're playing the 4 3 3, and we really just are going at Shrewsbury here. Free kick for Charlton here. Forster Casca gets the ball in the box. And Jaden Stockley rises above the Pierre to nod it into the net. Charlton 2, Shrewsbury nil. 37 minutes gone. And is that the goal that will and truly confirms promotion for the Addicts? Half time here. Charlton Athletic 2, Shrewsbury nil. 45 minutes away from securing all pack promotion. Stat wise, as you can see, dominating Shrewsbury. 19 shots to their 1, 9 on target to their none, 1.02 xg to their 0.03. Sean playing amazing here, 55% possession as well, controlling the ball. Forster Kasky with two assists from two set pieces, a free kick and a corner. The two great headers from Sameo and Stockley. Lads, really, really pleased. Uh, the only disappointment here, Charlie Kirk picking up a knock. Uh, so I'm going to take him off and I'm going to bring on Oh, who is the best option to bring on? Uh, I think the best option is moving Harvey Vale over to the right-hand side, telling him to cut in onto his left foot. And then on the left-hand side, bringing on... Uh, let's bring on Jay Asimi. And Jay Asimi likes to be an inverted winger support, so give him that as well. Hopefully push on, try and get a few more goals in the second half, try and make up that goal difference on Portsmouth a little bit. And Portsmouth take the lead against Gillingham. As things stand, they've moved two points clear of us, making it a, a lot harder on the final day. I mean, it's always going to be in their hands unless they lose, but still, we've got to keep doing what we're doing. The main focus right now, automatic promotion, which we are 35 minutes away from securing. Calvin Bassey, a little tired here. Going to bring him off for Chris Gunter. As I say that, Lavelle picking up the ball, getting it to force the Kasky. Out to that man Bassey, who's going to come off in a minute. Gets it to JSC me to force the Kasky. Man, the match so far today. Stockley to Sameo. Sameo going to drive forward with it now. Gets out to Matthews. Matthews taking it forward. Matthews through ball. Harvey Vale onto it. Cuts it in. Jane Stockley's header just wide of the post. Corner. The hander whips it in. Stockley's header right into the arms of Morossi. Morossi punts it forward. Nurse goes to run onto it. Matthews doing really well, though, to get there first. Gets it to Vale. Into Stockley. Stockley to Matthews. Matthew out to Vale. To Dahanda. Dahanda smashing it. Switching play. Jaden Dielang Jasimi running through. And he's brought down. It's a penalty here for Chelton. Chelton now a great chance to make it free. From the spot. Jan Dahanda steps up. And he scores. Chelton free. Shrewsbury nil. Jan Dahanda. Promotion. Automatic promotion. Well and truly guaranteed for the Addicts. We will be playing championship football next season. Praise the boys. What a performance today from Charlton. Game getting on a bit here. Stockley tired. So we're just going to bring on Connor Washington for this closing stretch. And uh, tell him to play as a poacher because he's not much of a target, man. Time ticking away here. We approach added time here. Portsmouth make it 2-0 against Gillingham. To drop Royal and truly wrap themselves up there. Two points clear. We have another free kick here. Forced to Kasky stepping up. And he hits the post. Oh, I thought he had it. I thought we had got a, a, what would have been a goal to travel for. Truly amazing performance. He doesn't quite get there, though. Uh, but I still think that's going to be it. Time ticking away into the 93rd minute. Is the referee going to blow here? And he does. Charlton for each three. Now, Charlton Athletic are promoted. Charlton are back in the championship. Two, one from Stockley, one from Samayo, one for Dehanda. What a performance by the Alex. 27 shots, 11 on target, 2.5 XG, 55% possession. Dominant from Charlton as we secure automatic promotion we wrap up a top two place we, we will be playing championship football we will be one step below the Premier League next season in our quest to bring the Addicts to victory this is a big step I'm sure we can all agree Charlton celebrate promotion there is the message looking at that league table seven points clear of Oxford right now one game to play promotion wrapped up Stockley second top scorer 
with 23 goals, by the way. McGilvery, third most of clean sheets with 17. A great performance. Two points off Portsmouth at the top, though. We could technically win the league, but to do so, Portsmouth would have to lose on the final day against Sheffield Wednesday, which they could do. Sheffield Wednesday in fourth. Sheffield Wednesday, a tough team. Sheffield Wednesday could beat Portsmouth, and if they do, we will just need a win against Ipswich to win the league, but Ipswich also a tough game. Ipswich in sixth. And they're going to be fighting to get in the playoffs. Only one point clear of seventh plate for Ogram. This is going to be a tough final day. Two big games. We're going to go forward now to that game against Ipswich. Hopefully pick up the win. And maybe even pick up the lead title. Pretty much an unchanged team for this final day clash against Ipswich. Uh, only changed Harvey Vale on the right wing. Jonathan Lecco on the left wing. I was going to put Patrick Calderwood onto the bench. Give you a little experience of him late in the second half. But he's actually currently injured. Uh, so another high potential youth player takes his spot on the bench is this man, Matias Sanchez Moreno, a sentiment who can also play Cam Argentinian coming through our youth academy. Nice looking stats, a lot of potential. Could end up being a big star for us, I hope, at the very least. Uh, other nationalities, he can also play for Spain and England, which probably explains how he got here. Uh, ho high hopes for Matias Sanchez Moreno. Could make his debut today. Probably will. Because what we've got to lose. Just going to go at it switch. And hopefully this team good enough to get the win here today. And hopefully Portsmouth lose to Sheffield Wednesday. And we win the title. And 12 minutes in. Sheffield Wednesday have taken the lead against Portsmouth. A big goal there. If we can find a goal here. If we can take the lead against Ipswich. We would move to the top of the table. McGilvery with the goal kick. Gets out to Jonathan Lecco on the left hand side. Lots of space for him. Plays it back to Sam Lavelle. Lavelle going to take the ball forward now. Gets it to Sameu. Sameu out to Matthews. Matthews going forwards. Tackled by Selena. Gets it to Fraser. Through ball. McCauley Bon. Shot saved well by McGilvery. Out for the Ipswich corner here. Ipswich going to whip it in. As you can see, Sheffield Wednesday. It says 2-0. They're actually currently 3-0 up. There it is. Sheffield Wednesday 3. Portsmouth 0. Wednesday smashing Portsmouth. We just need to find a goal. And the title, you'd think, would be ours with how it's going for Portsmouth right now. Wednesday with the free kick. Selena into the wall. Penny picking it up, though. Taking it out onto the right-hand side for Ipswich. Into Harper. Back to Penny. Coming to nothing, though. As we have half-time here. Nil-nil. Portsmouth almost definitely losing today. So we just need to find a goal from somewhere. And the title will be ours. Can we manage to find it in this final 45 minutes here? Lavelle, free kick for Charlton. He takes it short to Bassey. To Gilby. To Lavelle. Lavelle going to take it forward now. Sam Lavelle. Plays it back to McGilvery instead though. To Sameo. To Gilby. To Lavelle. Out on the to wing to Bassey. To force Kasky. To Stockley. Over the top. McEachern running through. Gets there. And he scores. 64 minutes, Ipswich nil, Charlton 1, George McEachern on loan from Chelsea, gets his 10th of the season, what a loan spell he's had, and just like that, as things stand, we will be the champions, Ipswich from the kickoff here though, Bon to Cooper, Cooper taking it forward now for Ipswich, gets it out to Vincent Young, to Fraser, to Burns, Vincent Young, Burns, Vincent Young, taking it forward down that right hand side for Ipswich, gets the ball in, Bon, had a saved well by McGilvery there. we just got to hold on and we will be the League One winners. 65 minutes. Lecco is tired. Charlie Kirk is going to come on there. Kane Vincent Young to Fraser. Lecco, a brilliant tackle. He's going to come off in a minute, but a great tackle from him. He plays it back to Sam Lavelle. Gets it forward. Oh, but it's intercepted. Carroll over the top. Selena. No, 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 no. What a save by McGilvery. Ipswich nil. Charlton one still. Calvin Bassey, very tired here. Going to bring him off for Chris Gunter. And Harvey Vale, tired as well. Uh, so, let's get the tactics scream up. I think Washington is the change here. Uh, but no. No, no, no. Let's get Charlie Kirk on to the right wing. Where he actually prefers it. Inverted wing support. And let's bring on Matias Sanchez Moreno for his Charlton debut. How do you like playing on the wing, kid? He likes to be literally anything. I mean, the man can't shoot for anything, but uh, let's inverted winger him. Give him at least the chance to score a debut goal. He's nervous. I have faith, kid. I have so much faith.
Simeo free kick to Matthews, to Kirk, to McEachran, Forster Kasky, out to Kirk, through ball to McEachran, George McEachran gets it across, and Sanchez Moreno's there, Matias Sanchez Moreno on his debut, comes on, and he scores the goal to guarantee the win here, to guarantee the League One title, what a moment for the 16-year-old Argentinian in his Cholton debut, been on for what, 15, 20 minutes, and he was there at the far post, running in, he taps it home, George McEachran, a goal and an assist in his final appearance before he returns to Chelsea. What a day today for Charlton Athletic, as we are the champions. We have won League One. Portsmouth slipping at the final hurdle. They were top for so long, but it doesn't matter because we are the champions. We have got the title. Let's go to the post-match. And there it is. 16 shots to their 13, 7 to 9, 1.86 XG to 1.03, 42% possession to their 58. A tight game here. George McEachran, a real difference maker. A goal and an assist. McGilvery, 8.1, man of the match. Matias Sanchez Marino, a goal on his debut. Lads, congratulations. McGilvery, you did really well today. George, your final game, you did really well today. Matias Sanchez Marino. I am delighted with your performance. Off the bench, a debut goal. Him and Caldwell both getting debut goals. What are you take this year smashing it already? And as you can see, Portsmouth lost 4-0 to Sheffield Wednesday. Ipswich's defeat here actually cost them a place in the playoff as well. At the playoffs will be Oxford, Rotherham and Sheffield Wednesday and Codons. Portsmouth smashed, leaving us top of the table. The champions of League One. What a season it has been. From that opening day defeat to Sheffield Wednesday... To the winners, the victors. Charlton win League One. Go to our club info. Have a look at the history. And we will have a second League One trophy there at some point. The second time we've won the division. Ten years after the first time. What a performance from Charlton this season. Charlton crown champions. I'll just go through all the emails quickly. And here's the season review. Charlton Athletic, as you can see. Champions of League One. Looking at the new signings that I brought in specifically, see how they got on, what the board for those. Uh, Calvin Bassey, B minus. I thought it was Calvin Bassey, A plus. No surprise there. Dylan Samoa, B plus. Did amazing as well. No complaints. George McEachran, B plus. And they seem to really like my transfers, and so do I actually. Carlos Tevez, A plus. He did great, let's be honest there. Uh, as well, who else? Ramirez got an A plus. Ramirez, when needed, also doing amazing. He's got a transfer arranged out of the club so he'll be he won't be here next season but it was nice to have Ramirez here Harvey Vale got an A plus Brian Fubema got a B plus and Yander Hanna got a B minus no complaints for any of those from me all doing amazing champions of league one the board giving me winning the league a B minus because the board confidence on these things is is broken you know so whatever FA Cup an E yeah I, I mean Wednesday a really tough game a B- minus for us reaching the quarterfinal. They wanted me to reach the second round. I reached the quarterfinal and they said, oh, that's, that's, that's okay, I guess. I'm telling you, it's, it's broken, but whatever. And a C for the Paper Johns. All that matters, though. League One, final position, first place. We won the league. We're going to be playing in the championship next season. Biggest win, 5-1. Match to remember that 4-1 win against Rotherham. Goal of the season, Gilby, and a 4-0 win to Leighton Orient into Papa Johns. Looking at the finances... Finances are okay. Ramirez, the biggest shirt seller, understandably. Sten Stockley, then Tevez, who was only here for half a season, remember. And then Washington and Forster Kasky as well. Team of the season. Uh, McGilvery, Matthews, Lavelle, Samayu, Bassey, Dobson, McEachran, Gilby, Washington, Vale, and Stockley. A very strong lineup there. And then you look at the accolades as well. Manager of the month a few times for me. Fans player of the year was Matthews. Young player of the year, Bassey. Signing of the season to hand up. I'd say Bassey. I don't know if loans can get that. Uh, Gilby for goal, Stockley for, for a bunch of things, Stockley most goals, Foster Kasky most assists, McGilvery most clean sheets, uh, youngest player and youngest goal scorer, Patrick Calderwood, like I said, 16 years, 33 days, what a debut for him, big things in the future as Charlton do win the league, and that'll be it for today in our quest to bring the Addicts to victory, winning League One in our first season, winning promotion and championship, it feels like a really good start, next time, next episode we'll be back for the start of season two. We'll go on the we'll go through the transfers from the summer, the ins and the outs. We'll have a look at the squad and what it's looking like and how we're going to be setting up for the season as well as doing the opening day, the opening fixture most probably. But that is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, then drop a like. And if you're enjoying the series, then please do subscribe for updates and go check out my other series at the moment, La Coppin Supremacy, as I look to achieve world football dominance using 
hopefully at some point an entire team made of Chelsea homegrown trained at club talent and thank you for watching.